Are you going to go up to the podium? Yeah. Well. <clears throat> Hello. I've been asked to introduce zero history and briefly, briefly describe its themes. And, and that request throws me back to the beginning of the, the pre-launch, pre-tour phase of the publication of Zero. Because every time, whoa, every time, is it, I can't put my hands in my pockets. It's the wires. But <clears throat> every time I publish a book, the first thing I'm asked is, what's it about? And, and what, what the themes are. And it puts me, it puts me in an awkward position because I, I don't, work that way at all. I don't have ideas and generate narratives in order to, to illustrate them. Uh, in fact, when I'm, not, when I'm not writing, when I'm actually not writing fiction, I scarcely have ideas at all. And it, it, I find that to be a, a, a fairly happy state for the most part. <laughs> but, when I, write, when I write fiction for, you know, whatever, whatever reasons, I find ideas through, through the narratives. They're not, they're, not always, they're not always very defined, but as I continue with the narrative, they, they tend to re-complicate and circle around and come back and and you know at the, at the beginning of my career i secretly suspected that i was only pretending to be a novelist and that i'd found a a way to cheat and do something that looked like a novel and and was shaped like one and provided an experience rather rather like reading one but that I was actually cheating because I was forcing the reader to provide the ideas. That I would get the ideas and, and the themes were only revealed to me after the book published, published and read and responded to. And I've, I've gradually, since I've been doing this for a while, I've gradually come to the conclusion that in a way, that's exactly the case, but that that's okay. So that I, I'm getting my ideas from you and I'm finding out what the book's themes are from, from the readers. And I think that the, the next work, in, for me, always emerges from that. Someone always tells me in, in the course of all these post-publication exercises what the current book is about. And it hasn't quite happened, it hasn't quite happened with this one, although I think it may, it may, be, it may be getting there. And it's, it's something like, people keep asking, some journalists, uh, some journalists ask whether or not I look at these, this particular three book movement as three snapshots of the zeitgeist taken over the previous 10 years or so. And I was saying, no, not, ex not exactly, but I've started I've started to realize that, that the, thing that I'm, the thing I'm disagreeing with is snapshots. What I think these three books are is a sort of very, like a decade-long pinhole exposure on the first decade of the 21st century. And in some very real sense, the camera doesn't move very much. The, 
you know, the film, the film stays where it is and the decade, the decade passes and the, my characters in some ways repeat actions from, from, the previous, from the previous books. And so the whole thing becomes, the three books become a sort of palimpsest where one book, the one narrative is superimposed on, on another. And at the end of the sequence, you're, you're looking through it all back to, back to the beginning. At least it's like that. It's like that for me. And I think that's about all I have to, have to say about it. So you can see why I never like to address these questions. But <laughs> thank you very much.